All right, let's try this round two now. Um, a little overview of after a run, after a teardown. I had a teardown due to a leak. Um, the tank wasn't cut square. The also had a small bend in it. So the, the edge of the tank rides on a pump, two seals. The one on the right is a seal I put in. The one on the left is a seal that came with it. Like I said, they, the seal that came with it was really loose inside of the groove. So I went back, different seal. Um, they gave me some run around saying that, hey, you know, try to make sure tanks, you know, uh, tight. Okay, get it. Um, as well as they told me to take it and lay a piece of sandpaper and sand it. Well, if it's not perpendicular on the end, the only way to get it true again is put it in the lathe and turn it. So long story short, I changed seals out and it worked because it was a more of a better seal, um, thicker. Um, ask them about hydraulic fluid since we're in the U.S. You know, uh, I ain't going to pay, you know, $19 for a bottle plus, you know, another 40 shipping. It's just not worth it. So their spec sheet that they sent me, this is the closest thing, spec'd out at uh, 18 ISO. Theirs is specking out between 10 to 15 ISO, as well as the heat index of this is about 200 degrees hotter than what they run. So still has the anti-zinc, the anti-rust, the anti-foam, all that stuff, but worked good. Put it in with a uh, little syringe. The third thing that I found out that they did they run metal sealed bearings. I don't like metal sealed. I prefer rubber sealed. Uh, metal sealed doesn't like sand. Sand still get in there. So I went back. That's a $4 set of bearings, by the way, for the metal sealed 10-pack. I went back put acers in. Like I said, a 10-pack, 10 bucks. Um, also, I noticed on teardown, like I said, the top rollers as well as all the bottom rollers on the track rails don't have bearings in them it's just the brass with the top of have bolts in it and the bottoms and have pins in it um okay you know we can get by you know without running bearings in that that's fine but the front idler they don't have a bearing in it it's a brass idler which for weight is nice like i said but it has a brass pin in the center of it yeah it comes in and out but you think they would put bearing there because here is where load is here is where load is as well as this whole track rail and all the chain has a collar with a bearing that slips over the hub of the output back here. There's one bearing, and it's aluminum, like I said, but that little play is from that aluminum flexing. It has a walking beam in the front. Like I said, you know, that's nice, but it doesn't have a bearing there, as well as that walks. All in all, like I said, it's a good machine. There's a lot of little things. Like I said, I noticed that, like I said, you know, they could have done better, you know, Number one, put the correct seals in it. Number two, put good quality bearings in it. Um, and number three, send it with fluid, you know, um, especially, you know, the people that doesn't live in the same country as these, you know, manufactured at. Um, but like I said, all in all, it's, you know, sound. Like I said, it does. I got it up and going. The tracks, I wound up putting new grease in it. The final drives have three gears set up on the output gear is a little bit recessed off to the side. Long story short, the play running back and forth, you know, it's a say three millimeter. The other gear is about a two millimeter. Well, if it moves over, like I said, you're only catching two millimeters to begin with. If it moves over, you're only catching one millimeter. So I shimmed the final drives, um, as well as I was brought up that the track tensioning is really tight. Um, I got the notice in that. And after, you know, looking at this with no bearings in it, I wound up cutting a, a one wrap and a half off the end of the spring because these are not, uh, or these are progressive springs. So let me see, is that correct? So the more you squeeze them down, the tighter they get. So cutting them off, like I said, it wound up plenty uh, tension, like I said, and also right here is a collar that runs on the fork for the front idler. You can always take this collar and adjust it so you have more pressure on the front side. Um, like I said, yeah, but all in all, like I said, good machine. If anybody needs part numbers, you know, uh, as far as the bearings, the seals, um, or where to buy this hydraulic fluid that I found, um, hit me up. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So dig on.